The Sound Blaster emulator might be one of the most important DOS retro PC projects in recent years. Also called SBEMU. So the short version is that this project solves a problem that has plagued many old computers. The retro PC community has figured out that you can run DOS games on many obsolete computers. Games like Prince of Persia or Doom, they run perfectly fine on older laptops, netbooks, thin clients or small form factor machines. But the big problem was on such machines you just couldn't get good sound. All you had was the PC speaker and that is a very bare bone experience. Now wouldn't it be awesome if we could add some sort of sound blaster support to older laptops, netbooks, desktops, thin clients? Well, this is exactly where the SBEMU project comes in. And best of all, it's free, it's entirely software based, so you don't need to purchase any hardware. Here we have the readme file from SBEMU and you can add the drivers to an existing DOS installation. But we can also download entire disk images that make life easier. Here we are on the download page. Crazy, he is behind this project and yeah, we can download these disk images and then write it onto an SD card, compact flash card or a USB thumb drive. It sets everything up with a free DOS installation ready to go, drivers for the audio, the mouse and the CD-ROM drive. Here we can see everything in action and then I'm running the fdisk command to create another partition on my SD card and then I'm adding a few DOS games. Here we can see a list of the supported sound cards. So this is where it's very convenient to write the image on a USB thumb drive and then you just stick it into an obsolete computer. And yeah, basically you just see if the audio gets detected. The machine we're using for testing in this video, it's a HP thin client with a via CPU and of course via integrated audio. Now I tried this project in the past, but compatibility wasn't that great. So I wanted to wait for things to improve. And yeah, today we're using a much more recent version. So I have the plan to test a wide range of games to see what the compatibility is like. Aladdin is first, we are getting an XMS allocation error. Battle Isle worked fine without any issues. Blakestone, this is Aliens of Gold, a FPS game. This one also worked fine. Here we have Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Yeah, seems to be working just fine as well. This is Descent, a very good 3D action space shooter. The Dig, well, this game was looking for a CD-ROM and this machine doesn't have one, so I couldn't test it. Here we have Doom working sound blaster sound effects as well as music, everything checking out. And here we have Doom 2 and also Duke Nukem 3D worked without any issues. We have heaps more games to test. The recordings in this video are quite short. If you're interested in seeing the extended recordings of all these games, consider joining and supporting me on my Patreon where I upload exclusive behind the scenes footage. Here we have Dune, unfortunately I could not hear any audio. Eye of the Beholder, this game worked just fine. Here we have also Eye of the Beholder 2, that also worked fine. Unfortunately the third title crashed with a Jamex error. Here we have Epic Pinball, I had to try out a few different sound options to make it work, but in the end it also seems to be working fine. F117A, a flight sim, we're getting a Jamex error. F19, we're getting the same error in this game. Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis, working perfectly with FM music and digital speech. Gateway also working fine. In Gods, I was only able to get the FM music, but not the digital speech. The Heart of China, also working just fine. Here we have Iron Man, a game I really enjoy playing and plays back with ad music. Legend of Kirendia also working fine. 
Lotus 3, we're getting a crash. There is an issue with a division by zero. Lure of Temptress worked fine. It has a beautiful introduction sequence. Here we have the secret of Monkey Island also working fine and Monkey Island 2 also seems to be working fine. Prince of Persia worked fine and so did the sequel Prince of Persia 2 which is known to be a little bit tricky with many machines. Raptor also worked fine. This is a nice shooting game. Risky Woods also I got working sound and music although I got the impression that the music was running a little bit on the slow side. In Samet Max, I wasn't able to configure the audio devices. I'm getting an error to do with the HD, PMI and Gemex. Space Quest 1 VGA working with beautiful FM music and digital sound effects. In Space Quest 5, the machine hangs when using the Sound Blaster, but using the AdLib configuration, at least it runs with just music. Stunts is another classic racing game, also working fine. Summer Challenge, this is a nice action sports game, working fine. Tetris Classic, I chose the Sound Blaster Pro option, also working fine. And here we have Terminal Velocity, I configured the Sound Blaster Pro for this game, also working fine. This is Ultima Underworld, I was surprised, this is from Origin and some of their games can be quite tricky to run on computers. Ultima Underworld 2 also working without any issues. Here we have Wing Commander. Now this game runs way too fast but it runs and we're getting sound effects and music. That's awesome. Wing Commander 2 runs a little bit better. That game has some frame pacing integrated although the action sequences, there are some sequences that do run too fast but yeah another game that works. And here we have the adventures of Willy Beamish. This game also works. So guys, the compatibility, well, I'm really impressed. With this project, we have a couple of things that are working against it. Firstly, FreeDOS, it's not as compatible as MS-DOS. We have the Gemex memory manager, it's not as compatible as the ones from Microsoft. We're also dealing with a very fast CPU. This one runs at 800 megahertz, so some games will stumble because the processor is too fast and we're having too much memory. A DOS machine, you wanna have four, eight or 16 megabytes of RAM. This machine has 128 megabytes, it's way too much. But despite all of this, the compatibility was really good. So there really is a lot to like. Now this project will not make obsolete authentic retro machines. If you have a 486 computer with an ISA Sound Blaster, you will have better compatibility. Yes, it will sound more authentic and I would say uh, more accurate, a little bit nicer in most situations. But what this project does is unlock Sound Blaster audio to all these obsolete computers from netbooks to laptops, thin clients, small form factor machines, old desktop computers, machines that are really obsolete and they can run DOS but with the PC speaker it just sounds very flat and boring and now with this project, wow, it's a real game changer for the DOS retro PC community. The project is ongoing, new versions are being released constantly and there is a nice thread on Vogons where people discussing improvements and little bugs. So I will put a link down below in the description. And if I could give some suggestions, I would love to see a better documentation. The program has a lot of hidden commands, but I wasn't able to find a document that explains what all these options, uh, what they change, what they toggle. So that is something I do uh, want to see in the future, having good documentation. I really like the ready to go disk images that you can just write onto an SD card or compact flash card because this allows people that are not familiar with DOS, which many people aren't. It's not that straightforward. You have to use the command line and then installing DOS, getting the mouse to work, the sound drivers, the CD-ROM drive, the memory managers. It's a real pain in the neck. and. Uh, part of what I'm trying to do here with the channel is share the passion with old games and old computers and get more people excited uh, to join this awesome hobby. So if you have an old laptop lying around, yeah, write it onto a USB thumb drive, boot up the machine 
and see if these games work if the machine is supported with the Sound Blaster emulation project and have a blast. There are so many awesome DOS games that are to this day absolutely fantastic. So guys, there you have it. That was my coverage on the Sound Blaster emulation project. Big thumbs up to Crazy for putting this awesome project together. And now I wanna hear from you. Have you tried this project? There, well, chances are you have. I got a lot of comments from you in the past, but back then I tried it on six different machines and the experience wasn't that good. Uh, but I had a feeling that this project will develop into something awesome. So I wasn't going to make a video and bashing it. Uh, sometimes these things take time to mature. And here we are, we have something that really works well and has awesome compatibility. So yeah, share your thoughts down below. And that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you soon with another one.